The Orange Pi 5 is an emulation beast, but we already knew that, right? This monstrosity here is my Orange Pi 5, but I just added a couple of tweaks to it. So I salvaged an old heatsink that I had from a Raspberry Pi 4. I'll put a link for the actual cooler in the description so you get a chance for what it actually is supposed to look like on a Raspberry Pi. But I took the heatsink off of it because it just had a nice flat bottom, but I couldn't use the bracket obviously. So I brought my buddy zip tie into play here and um, I'm gonna see you know if it helps performance a little bit. And then under it, I have a old laptop drive that I've got a SATA power and SATA data connector to USB 3.0. And I've got a couple of more heat sinks on the other modules as well on the board. So after I got my cooling solution taken care of, I went back to the drawing board and kind of started over on building the Orange Pi 5 as an emulation machine from the ground up. I want to find the most frictionless build possible and the most frictionless path possible for you to get your system running just like mine. So I settled back on Android 12, but building it back up to where I had it before wasn't as easy as the first time. I took it for granted. So I ran into a lot of pitfalls with trying to do file transfers and get the system set back up the way I had it before. I couldn't quite remember everything I did. I didn't quite document it as well as I should have, which is on me. But you know, I went back in, I started from scratch. I got my USB plug in so I could plug in flash drives and transfer files. Then I went over and got a good unzipper APK so I could get those ISO files out of there and into the directories that I needed them to be in. Everything, you know, went somewhat smoothly, but I'm not gonna say everything was sunshine and rainbows. I did run into a lot of issues where I was banging my head against the wall and I wanted to just give up completely on this video because I had already done this already and I was upset that I couldn't do it again exactly how I had it before and I was a little bit frustrated but I got there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of those instructions in a nice newsletter with step-by-step -step instructions so you don't have to go through the same headaches that I did you can pay me with a like so I got started by installing some of the games that you guys recommended in the last video for GameCube and PS2. I'm only focusing on those two consoles for this video, but let's check out how everything looks on the GameCube side. Hello past me, it's future me. I have a haircut now. Let's test out some GameCube on the Orange Pi 5 on Android 12 using my Daijisho. Daijisho. See, I learned how to pronounce it. If you didn't know the last video, I was scared to pronounce it. Daijisho is the name of the front end and it's the best front end for Android 12. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I tried a couple of other ones. No of the other ones quite compare to Daiji Show. So basically you can go into the GameCube setting or you, I'm sorry, you can go into the Android settings and set Daiji Show as your default layout so that you don't have to actually go to the app when you load up Android 12. It doesn't boot to the you know default Android 12 uh, UI. It boots to Daiji Show. But here are my graphics settings for GameCube. The enhancements is pretty much everything is pretty much off. Everything's off. And I've got the internal resolution down to 720. Um, so only two times native resolution. I was a little bit sad I couldn't get 1080p working great. I may tweak around with it a little bit more, but you know, um, 720, that's fine. You know, it's higher than the resolution that it was uh, built for. I've got just a Xbox controller here, Xbox One controller, USB to the orange pie mapped very nicely with uh with dolphin but as you can see the cutscenes they're they're pretty much 30 frames um locked in 30 frames they look they look fine at 720 um we can skip past those when it just get get to the good stuff all right so game runs very nice 30 frames 720p you know it will dip between 25 and 30 frames which i'm not like too concerned with but yeah, it, it, I mean, it's smooth. It's buttery smooth. I have no complaints with how this runs. I did get a little clipping when I was doing some testing before, when I was kind of getting this ready to just show you guys. I was getting a lot of clipping. But dang. I'm getting no clipping right now. This this looks... I'm, I'm impressed. All right, let's check out some F-Zero... All right, I got a request for this exact, I believe it's this exact map. So I got a request for um, for F-Zero, um, and they said the, the fire map. So I'm assuming this is the fire map. Okay, F-Zero, so we're 23 frames, 22 frames. Okay, so yeah, definitely not gonna go to 1080 with this. We're barely squeaking out 30 frames with this, and there's a lot of things going on that's causing this frame rate to dip, I see here already. GameCube, 
is running nicely on the Orange Pi 5, 720p. No other settings tweaked, so no, no other filters or anything like that, no other fancy stuff. Um, but we're able to squeak out 30 frames and get really smooth gameplay with no tearing. Minimal to no tearing. I don't think I've seen any tearing on F-Zero either. So, like, tearing by, I mean, that, the, like, the horizontal or vertical lines that you'll see scroll up the screen. I'm not getting any of that. So enough of the GameCube, let's talk about PS2. You guys recommended a lot of PS2 games, including Soul Calibur 2, a game I loved but I only had on the Xbox, and also Metal Gear Solid. I wanna check those out as well, see how they run on the Orange Pi 5. Let's check it out. All right, let's see. I've got a little bit more solid of a PS2 lineup. Unfortunately, Snake Eater, I'm sorry. I had a comment to run Snake Eater. I was gonna run it. But it doesn't run. The, the ROM just doesn't work. So let me go over to the Supra. Is that a Supra? Is that a Supra? All right, so we've got our game frame rate versus the video frame rate, both at about 60 right now. Let's see. Okay, so we're at 60 frames right now, starting the race. So remember, I had the heat sink on there. I just checked the... Just check the heat sink. It's, it's still pretty cold. It's still ice cold. So, um, the main chip isn't, isn't overheating right now or like getting too hot. That was the problem was I thought that I was running into was maybe this, the, the chip was just getting hot and performance was just suffering there. So the idea of cooling everything down wasn't necessarily to improve performance, but the longevity. So I could sit there and play five different games really tax the, the cpu gpu without the the quality degrading over time with uh with heat taking over but man i am impressed i'm a, i'm thoroughly impressed right now we've got grand turismo 4 which was a beast of a game running at 60 frames stable we are 1.25 native resolution let's let's go to Let's go crazy with Budokai, because Budokai is definitely not as stressful as Gran Turismo. Do a sparring match between Piccolo and Gohan. All right, so we're upscaled to two times resolution. You can see um, we're 1024 by 896. The game's running at 30 frames. Our video's running at 60 frames. Solid though, we're running solid at 30 frames. I mean, the game looked good for its time, but like the sharpness with the upscaling, I think, just like takes it to that another level. Hey, 30 frames, let's let's move on to our next title, which will be Soul Calibur. I have a I have a special surprise for that. So look what we got here. Got my USB fight stick here. I'll put the um, link for the materials to build this in the description. No soldering involved. It's just a shell and a button kit. So this is gonna be Soul Calibur 2 for the PS2 running at two times resolution. So same as Dragon Ball. Um, when we ran that, so uh, the 10, the, um, the 1280 by 896, um, we've got our fight stick. I've already programmed that to work. Um, that's just done in the uh, in the emulator settings. You go in there and set up one of the controllers, mapped uh, these buttons to the DualShock 2. Obviously, it doesn't have enough buttons for the DualShock 2. Um, it's only a six button um, unit, but it gets the job done. I just don't have the triggers. This game blew me away graphics wise. Um, I had the Xbox version, and um, I was I was already a Spawn. Like I liked the '90s Spawn movie. I was a fan of that. Um, so the fact that Xbox had Spawn, I felt like special for having an Xbox. Graphics. Let's go forward. Here's the stress test. We're going back to Gran Turismo 4. We've upscaled to four times resolution. So we're at 2568 by 1792. Uh, you know, I'm expecting it to struggle. Let's just see how much it's gonna struggle. You know, I, I, I at least wanna, wanna show you guys, you know, its limits here. And just show you like, okay, like, you know, we have we have a great solution here as as a predecessor to the Raspberry Pi 4, but you know we need to we need to put it in its place. You know what I mean? We gotta we gotta put it in its place a little bit. Okay, we're twenty something frames. We're getting a lot of stuttering. Oh yeah, I, me pressing the gas here and when the RPMs go up is not good. Oh god, we're struggling. We're struggling. 
such a delay on there too. 720p emulation, 1080p emulation for this generation. PS2 and GameCube, some Wii in there probably too. You're all set with the with the Orange Pi 5. Oh, and there's our crash. We'll, we'll give a round of applause for the Orange Pi 5. You know, like this is just the, the tip of the iceberg. We still got a lot to go. Like this, this is only gonna get better. This isn't gonna get worse. So, you know, I'm optimistic. All right, so let's talk about the difficulty score for this project. Without a guide, I'm gonna put this at a five. It is not easy to set up an Android OS from the ground up if you don't have a lot of experience with it. I had a little bit of experience with Android uh, back in the day when I was really focused on Android, when it was really in its heyday for everyone trying to like emulate for it and develop for it. Back when I was you know, studying computer science in school, I was super heavy focused on Android and developing for it. So I'm gonna give the difficulty score a three as long as you follow my guide, I'm gonna put in the description and you should be all set. It's gonna save you so much time, it's gonna save you so much headache. So now that it's just the real ones here, I'm gonna drop you in on the next project that I'm working on. This bad boy right here. Were you thinking this was a retro handheld? Oh no, this is a brick of cocaine. No, actually it is a retro handheld. I'm hoping it is, I haven't unboxed it yet, but this is the new Ambernick handheld that I'm gonna be unboxing, giving a review on. I'm really excited for this thing. It came all the way over the Great Wall. It's been sitting here while I've been working on this Orange Pie 5 project and I'm ready to unbox it and show you guys. I'm so hyped. It's a more 2D focused handheld, so I'm not gonna be running much 3D and doing much benchmarking, but I am super excited to be trying out some of those Pokemon ROM hacks. I've never tried a Pokemon ROM hack before. I wanted something a little bit more portable than the Switch, and plus my Switch isn't modded and I don't plan on modding it. So I wanted something that's moddable and portable. So if you are interested in going down this rabbit hole with me into these retro handhelds, go ahead and subscribe. But back to the Orange Pi 5, if you don't have one and are kind of intimidated on getting one, I would say hold off on it. Wait a little bit until there's an easier way to get the Orange Pi 5 set up for emulation. But if you do have a Raspberry Pi 4 and want an easy way to get your ROMs on it and not have to do much setup and be like ready to go, just format your SD card, follow this video I made a while back. It was like last year, but it's a super easy solution to getting an all-in-one kind of arcade solution from just one file onto your Raspberry Pi 4. Peace.